Hey guys, this is Tara from RDTDaily.com. I want to thank you for being a part of the RDT Daily community. And I want to ask you to, in spite of, you know, I know there's a million things going on and there's a million people requesting you, your time, uh, your energy, and your support, your financial support. But if you could carve out a little for RDT Daily because we're trying to become a contender in the liberal media sphere, if that's a thing. The, thing, the, the fact is, you know this, I know this, right-wingers don't know this. We don't have George Soros money. We don't have the, uh, a Mercer family equivalent that supports independent media. You know, the, that's the one thing I have to tell you that the, that the right-wingers have on us. They have the Mercer family. The Mercer family gave $6 million to Andrew Breitbart, that hack, that liar, he, and that's what he is. They get up there and they lie for the 1%, and they convince dupes to slit their own throats and cheer their own demise while they're doing it. And, uh, you know, since the deregulation of the media, uh, it, it, that's a problem. We, we don't have the uh, corporate media on our side. The corporate media one is corporate. You know, they have MSNBC, but you don't, you don't see MSNBC going off uh, or, or even informing people about things like net neutrality and whatnot because they, it's not in their corporate interests. So the, the, the liberal media, the independent liberal media is, uh, you know, it's vital to democracy. This is really, honestly, and I know you believe this, I believe this, uh, it's the truth. The, it, this is the last gasp of democracy. If we don't get this back, then we're done. So uh, we're trying to, we're doing a fundraiser to, it's not just, it's not going into my pocket here. This is going to to hire, uh, what do you call it, writers, people to write for the site and contribute may, and get the word out. So everybody who contributes over $20 will get a grab them by the midterms window cling and as our thanks, as our thanks. So we don't, like I said, we don't have the Mercer family. We have you, we have us and we stick together. We win. That is the truth because that's what we got. We lost it. We lost the American middle class and I think partly because the, I think that people started to believe that the American middle class was their birthright. And the, I mean, it's a long, it's a very long story. Uh, the people like my father who grew up, who was a garbage man, who was able to have uh, a decent middle class life on a garbage man's salary because of the unions, because of the New Deal. And they started to believe that this was their birthright, that it wasn't because of government policies, that if you just work hard, but I'm sorry, there's not enough hard work, because there, isn't, there aren't enough hours in the day that will enable a, a hard worker to catch up to uh, you know, the standard of living that used to be that, that their grandparents believed was their birthright. So we let it go, and I partly due to uh, the fact that the media has been deregulated and the, consolidated into corporate hands and into that into that uh, bubble steps the the misinformation. Then you have the different camps and uh, you know uh, the fissures that develop, and you have uh, as the working class devolves into the working poor, you have a demagogue like Trump's uh, coming along and promising I, only I can fix it. And in the meantime, he is uh, pouring salt into those fissures of disunity. And which is the, uh, you know, it's, that's the tactic of every authoritarian. Whether he knows it or not, that's what he's doing. And which is why the independent liberal voices are vital because we're competing with people that are get that are big com conglomerates and also the so-called smaller sites are being funded 
by billionaires, the right-wing billionaires. We, left-wing billionaires don't fund the media. They, they just don't do it. And so that we have to do a Bernie Sanders and come to you guys. And hopefully this call will be heated. I'm sorry. You know, I'm not, uh, I hate doing it. I really do. But if we want to stay afloat and if we want to stay in the fight, we need each other. And like I say, we stick together, we win. It's the truth. We're going to, we will win together. I'll do my part. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, there's enough people that, want to see and hear what we're doing and be a part of it by uh by supporting us and there are i appreciate people who've already contributed that's uh i can't thank you enough and hopefully we'll be uh an army of people contributing and we'll be we'll be unstoppable together so all right uh i didn't mean to turn this into a big pitch for money. I hate doing it. I really do. But it is a necessary evil in this in this evil, evil necessity of a world. So uh, I don't know what that means, but whatever. And you get a window cling. Everybody who donates over $20 will get this. Grab them by the midterms window cling. And the midterms are really, they're starting to ramp up. And the thing is, if we don't get it back in the midterms, we're done. No, I'm sorry, people. It's, and I guess the show will turn into a commiseration, sort of really more of a therapy for the resistance because we're going to need it. <laughs> so, all right. My name is Tara Devlin. Hopefully you'll tune into the Tara Buster at 7 p.m. on Saturday evenings at Facebook Live and YouTube and all that those places at the RDT Daily Facebook page and then replayed on Progressive Voices or any time on the Progressive Voices app or the GDPR Revolution 99. That's another place where you can hear Tower Buster. And I've gone on entirely too long, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. This is Tara Devlin. I'll see you later.